Hi friends, in this video let us discuss single phase rectifier. Okay, first as usual we need to go for go to Simlink library. Yeah, this is Simlink library and this is open new file Simlink library. Yeah, first as I already told you this is a single phase rectifier. I should have single phase supply. So definitely it's in sim power systems, electrical sources, single AC source and next single phase rectifier. So it's a bridge rectifier. So I need to take power electronic things. Here I, uh, I like to take thyristor, detailed thyristors. I should have four thyristors and I should have a load. First I like to see response with only the RLs only R load resistive load it's a series branch it's better if we give series RLC branch instead of series RLC load as for load we need to give something in power kilowatt or something else but for branch we can directly give the element so it's better to take RLC branch instead of RLC load so this is the thing so let me make it a short AC voltage and this is thyristor let me write T1 yeah first I want to turn this so it's right click format and rotate the block clock uh, sorry I like to take it in the other way so let me flip the block that's it so this is my T1 as we know the naming will be given like this i think you already know this right click right click hold and drag and drop so that you will get the you will get the replica of the previous one so similarly this is t2 oh sorry this is t3 and this one is t4 that's it now we can connect the same connect these two and connect these two this one and this one okay let me let me make it clear don't worry come this come here let me remove no problem and please connect properly that's all next these two should be connected and these two should be connected as you know the cathodes of upper thyristors should be connected and anodes of lower thyristors should be connected and this anode of upper thyristor and cathode of lower thyristor should be connected and anode of upper thyristor cathode of lower thyristor should be connected well, let me come make them to come down and this make them to go up yes and this is my voltage source so the positive is connected to in between T1 and T4 and the negative is connected in between T2 and sorry T2 and T3 okay let me turn this uh, clockwise okay clockwise right and this is simple R load let me take it out only R load is sufficient for me yes this is only R load and it will be connected like this that's it so it's over now we need to see what we need we like to see which may be the voltage and current all these things and before going to that we need to put a power GUI block yeah this is power GUI block let me keep here as AC is entered so it's better to take discrete it's better so let me take like this okay yeah power GUI is over now what I need to do 
after this i need to give pulses as we already discussed the pulse generator so i need to take that pulse generator only let me go up this will be in sources of simlink pulse generator let it be uh, let it be pulse generator is like here only let me take it as one is okay this one is not okay this is 0 0.02 seconds five is okay okay as as we know let us take 45 degree only here also so this is 45 degree so now according to theory in let me give this 100 is okay zero is okay and it should be 50 and the sampling time is now no need to refer just apply and okay now here the concept is very simple for t1 for in positive off cycle t1 is conducted and the current is passing through t1 and through r and t2 will be conducted so current is entering the negative part of the supply so that is the our voltage source negative negative side of the voltage source of so that's the flow so in between i can give up to 0 from 0 to 180 i can give the pulses now i am giving the pulse at 45 degree so the alpha is 45 degree but coming to the next cycle in negative off cycle t3 is for bias and the current is passing through t3 this r and t4 and then entering the positive side of the supply so this is the thing okay of course this is an ac supply so there is no positive and negative so we can interchangeably call as phase and neutral so this is the condi this is the situation here so but now how to give the pulses the pulses can be given for t1 and t2 at some angle maybe 45 and at what angle i need to give the pulses for t3 and t4 that should be definitely pi plus alpha where pi is the 180 degree plus alpha alpha is 45 degree pi is 180 degree at the same time i like to convert the things into time so as we know com for complete cycle it is 360 degree or 2 pi radian so 2 pi radian is 0 0.02 seconds here as our frequency is 50 hertz so definitely the pi means it should be 0 0.01 second so now whatever may be the time you are giving here for t1 and t2 it should be additive to 0 0.01 that means pi angle so here here the time is time delay is 0 0.00125 for t1 and t2 and it should be 0 0.00 sorry 0 0.0125 is for t3 and t4 that's the concept here and let me connect the same this is the thing for t1 and also for t2 correct and this is the thing for t3 and t4 the connections can be of your choice but please make it clear that's it or we can some people try to keep it downside also this is also a good thing to represent so this is for this is let me change this to pz1 where the angle is 1 I mean alpha and tz2 where the angle is alpha pi plus alpha okay tz2 and this is pz1 let me call it as pz1 so it's okay now it's fine but now I need to give I need to provide the two things one is voltage measurement and current measurement let me remove this here I will take let me take the measurements first blocks first let us go to simple systems 
elements measurements voltage measurement and also current measurement mm, yeah this is current measurement let me take it out yeah this is for current measurement source uh, i can write directly source current measurement this is voltage measurement source voltage measurement and this one and this one so i can call it as source measurement this is load current measurement and here it is load voltage measurement let me remove the ones here this everything is of your choice so please no need to follow exactly like this let me remove this as current source should be in series with the thing so here the current is flowing like this so here i need to take this i need to measure the current so this this current source should be in series with the two things this one is voltage source and maybe the t1 and coming to voltage measurement the voltage measurement is always like this across the source please keep this in mind it should be across the source so nothing should be in between so it should not be after the ammeter or after the current measurement so similarly here also this is the measurement yeah this is the measurement and the current and let me remove this it should be in series now it will be in series yes correct and obviously we need to see the waveform so definitely it should be one scope scope block will be commonly used blocks scope i want to explain the things here i want to see source voltage source current in one axis and load voltage load current in the other axis so i should have two axis once two axis has come out i need to take two components in one axis so definitely i need to use mux here yeah this is my mux as we it's our custom to see first voltage and then the current okay so this is the source part similarly for the load part i need one more mux you already know how to take one more block if one block is there i mean copy and paste the block so this is voltage source is here and the current source is here so sorry the voltage measurement is here current measurement is here so obviously this is the load voltage and this is load current these two should be like this and this is for one cycle is 0.02 .02 seconds so let me take five cycles which should be 0.1 and everything is fine now let me run this yeah it first run oh this is the problem with this so okay you can take it hmm so please see what are the things here hmm the yellow one is voltage source and the this one is current as alpha is the voltage alpha is the firing angle given at 45 degrees of angle so as up to 45 there is no voltage i mean there is no current flow also as the switch parallel current switch is off up to 45 degree so there is no current flowing through the circuit that's why up to 45 degree the source current is also zero even though there is a voltage but the source current is zero so this yellow part is source voltage and this pink part is source current see this is the source current that's why the source currents are like this and coming to voltage as you know this is a rectifier so it rectifies the 
voltage and the current so definitely there is no negative side the negative side will be reflected to positive side so all these things will be go upward as there is no current flowing in the circuit up to 45 degree there should not be any voltage at the load side so definitely i mean there is no connection at all so definitely the voltage is like this and this is the current source so this is the resistive load so definitely the resistance is following the i mean the current is following the voltage of course if these things are not at all shown properly let me divide the things not a big issue so simply remove this i like to remove this also so this is source voltage and this is source current you can see separately and let me remove this part this is so load voltage and the load current okay just run it and see the things yeah this is what exactly we expected yes this is source voltage sinusoidal voltage and this is source current up to 45 there is no current flow as the switch is open circuited it's reverse bias and the switch is of course it's forward bias but the firing angle is not provided so it should be there is a zero current flowing through the thyristor so definitely up to 45 it should be zero and then it has to follow the source voltage and it has followed like this it is followed it's followed the source voltage exactly this is the source current the above figure is above waveform is source voltage below waveform is source current so this is the reason for up to 45 the source current is zero so this is for explanation for source voltage and source current coming to load voltage and load current yeah this should be like this auto scale yeah up to 45 degree there is no voltage there is no current passing through the resistance so obviously the voltage would be zero so after 45 degree after 45 degree the current is the current is following the source voltage so definitely the shape of this one is exactly same as source voltage only so here also the voltage is following source voltage as the resistance is used the load is the resistive load so source voltage load voltage is exactly replica of source voltage as the current is same as source current is same as the source voltage so here the current passing through the current passing through the resistance is source current so definitely it will be like this and this voltage and current are exactly same so this is the explanation for load voltage and load current yes finally this is our single phase rectifier if you have any doubts please ask me freely in comment box if you like this video please like the video if you have if i committed any mistakes please let me know and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed till date thank you thank you one and all